Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Pokemon Y No Healing in Battle Wedlock Challenge. In the last episode we made our way here to Lavare City. Is it Lavare City or Lavare Town? I don't know. Oh, and I trained, which you guys skipped. Or watched. But it was before this. Anyways, we are in Lavare City. Why is it a city? It's it's so tiny. This is the smallest city I've ever seen. This is Lavare Village, if you ask me. But hey, all of them would be villages, because no town in Pokemon's big. Except, like, Lumio City. You know what I mean? Yeah, the same clothes, because I'm, like, recording it the day after, and the clock didn't change for some reason. Like, it did, but it's, like, not a full day. That's why I, I checked the acrobatics, people. We can't get acrobatics yet. That's okay. I have to pre record a lot of videos as of the next few weeks to coming month, which I'll get into here at some point. Not today, though. But what we do have to do today is we do have to take on the sixth gym of the game. As you guys saw there, I did training, as you saw. And the level is 42, but I got everybody up to 41, except for, except for Baramundi and LaFleur, since those two will be my pair for this gym. And now, let me tell you, this gym is going to be scary. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it out of this one without losing Baramundi and LaFleur. It's going to be cutting it really close. I have a lot of different strategies I wanted to go into, but first thing I did want to mention is that Maku Maku learned Earthquake at level 40, which is really good. And I taught Bulldoze and Poison Jab to knock them instead of Protect and Dig. And I don't think anything else changed. Um, yeah, Baramundi has Poison Jab instead of Rock Tomb for this gym, since Poison is obviously super effective against Fairy. So, that's what we're working with here. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. But first off, I didn't get a Pokemon here last episode. And that was because I didn't think you could. I know you can't surf here. And I thought you couldn't fish either. But you actually can get a Pokemon here. If you use an old rod here, you're guaranteed a Poliwag. And if you use a good rod, you can either get a Basculin, Red Stripe, and Y. Which is Reckless and Adaptability. Adaptability would be good. Reckless would be kind of pointless in a challenge that is this difficult. And... Um, Poly World. So, I have a name picked out for both of them, just to save some time. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves an encounter here. I'm going to put the floor up front. Actually, we don't have Sleep Powder anymore. I'll just Quick Ball it. I mean, that should catch it. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get a Pokemon right away. So, my encounter for Lavare City is going to be... Why, well, I did not reel it in too slow. Fishing in this game is horrible. Oh my god. Like, come on. I did not reel that in too slowly. My encounter for Lavare City... I want a Basculin. So I got a Poliwhirl. My encounter for Lavare City is Poliwhirl. Okay. I mean, it's fine. I like Poliwhirl. And it's a female, which doesn't matter for the name I had picked out, so. Sure. Um, I'll probably use a Politoed, because I don't really like Poliwrath, but depends on what's coming up. Politoed's just better. Less weaknesses. And I prefer it overall. So I'm going to go ahead and quick ball this thing immediately. I was expecting a critical capture, but I guess not. But yeah, I did have a nickname picked out for this thing, just to save ourselves a little bit of time here. Well, I did it while I was training and before I started. But yeah, we got ourselves a Poliwhirl, which is pretty sweet. Um, well, I've never used a Poliwhirl on the channel, so I can use either Poliwrath or Politoed, depending on what's best for the situation. And Poliwhirl is the Tadpole Pokemon. Its two legs are well-developed. Even though it can live under the ground, it prefers living in water. So, the name that I have picked out for this Poliwhirl, oh, my naming theme, if you guys are new, is Survivor Tribe Names. And the name that I have picked out for this Poliwhirl is from Season 4, Marquesas? Mar Marquesas? I don't know how to pronounce the season. Regardless, it's one of the original two starting tribes. And the name that I'm giving this Poliwhirl is the Tahitian word meaning rain. And that name is Rotu. We have Rotu, the Poliwhirl. So, yeah, I think that'd be pretty fitting for a Politoed. Row to the Politoed. Yeah. And I don't know, I thought it sounded cool. And I had a name picked out for Basculin as well. But it wasn't that. So you guys can speculate what that was. If, if you had my naming theme list, you could probably pick it out. It's very fitting for a Basculin. Anyways, we didn't get a Basculin. We did get a Poliwhirl. And a Poliwhirl has Water Absorb. Does that stay Water Absorb? And a pretty good nature for a Politoed. So, we're not evolving this thing into a Poly Wrath, not with a minus attack nature, so... I think Water Absorb stays Water Absorb as a Poly Toad. I think. I'm actually gonna look it up right now. Not that it matters for right this second, 
but I'm curious, and everybody's going to tell me in the comments. And I will already looked it up anyways, and I hate responding to all those comments. Like, I know you guys are helping, but I hate, I feel bad. Like, oh, I already looked it up, and it's like they wasted their time. So let's just do it on screen. I'm in on CRB. I always have it pulled up. Where, where is Politoed in Generation 2? There it is. That's way up higher than I thought. 186. It does stay water absorbed, and the other one's damp. So we got lucky. Water absorb is a game-changing ability. That's for sure. So I'm very pleased with that. That's a really good water type to add to our arsenal. Even better than Kasama, unfortunately. But yeah, Even number of male and female Pokemon again. It's like the first time I've ever had even the entire game. From what I can remember. Anyways, let's head into the gym. We didn't take any damage in that fight. So let's just go straight up to the Lavare City Pokemon Gym. I'm scared. This is not an easy win by any imagination. And I'm going to go into my strategies after we talk to the champion making guy. So you can understand why this isn't an easy gym. So, let's talk to the champion making guy. Well, howdy, Mr. Pouty. What's new, future champ? This here Lavera City Pokemon gym has some truly confounding conundrums. The first shocker is this here is a fairy type gym. Bet you've never seen one of these before. The second shocker is how you get around. Hop on one of the warp panels and off you go. But where you land, nobody knows. Ha, just boiling your leg, champ. The warp panels all have fixed destinations, of course. So go on, step on a flashing yellow panel. Yes, that's what we're going to do. So... My strategies. I was thinking any of these pairs would be good for Valerie. Alinta resists Fairy. Makumaku can destroy them all while. And Nakam had the Sandstorm boost for the remaining two with Poison Jab. But Lafleur and Baramundi are just the best pair overall. But we've got a big hurdle with that Mawile. And a good strategy would be Baramundi to sweep with Poison Jab and Swords Dance. But the problem is, I have to be able to take out the Mawile, which can't be hit with Poison Jab. And I could have Bulldoze, but that's the thing. I have two HM moves that I cannot get rid of. So Baramundi is stuck with only Shadow Claw and Poison Jab for the Mr. Mime. And for the Sylveon. And the Mawile. So I'm going to have to take the Mawile out with Surf. Which isn't a really good idea, seeing as how my special attack is horrific. But Mawile's special defense is horrific as well. And it uses Iron Defense a lot. So I might get a free shot if it was for Iron Defense. So... Hopefully this goes well. That's what I'm working with. And I do have to also take out the Mr. Mime with Bear Monday as well. Because LaFleur is weak to Psychic. But if all goes to plan, I should be able to take the Sylveon out with LaFleur. It's going to be a really sketchy gym battle in my eyes. So hopefully everything goes according to plan. And I don't know how to get around this place. So we're just going to fight everybody I come across. If I come across Valerie right away, I won't backtrack for more trainers. But I do want to get everybody at least level 41. So if I go back, I will. I'll fight some of them. But... If I come across them all, I'll fight them all, but I don't know my way through here. And I'm not going to look it up. I mean, I'll accidentally see Valerie's team and moveset. Oh my god. I just thought of something that could be game-changing, actually. Does her Mr. Mime know Magical Leaf? If it knows Magical Leaf, that could end Baramundi in a second. Oh my god. Would it? Do they get Magical Leaf? For some reason, I remember they do. I don't know. Alright, let's just... Yeah, it's like a dollhouse, basically. Which is a really cool gym, in my opinion. Like, it's like a little dollhouse. And it's kind of like... Sabrina's gym, in a lot of ways. Actually, no, I never really thought about this. Also, Klefki is awful. And no, Baramundi is not weak to steel, in case you were thinking. Oh no, it's rock type, it's weak to steel. It's actually not, because of the water typing. So it's only neutrally affected by steel moves. So hopefully Klefki is not too much of an issue here. But I always thought this was a lot like Sabrina's gym, because of the warp panels. Like in Sabrina's gym. But there's actually more to it than just that. Because if you think about it, in the anime, Sabrina's gym was like a little dollhouse. Remember, like, not the gym itself, but Ash and everybody was trapped inside of, like, a dollhouse. And, like, am I just remembering this? Or was is that actually something that had happened? I don't remember exactly. But, please hit. Oh, you jerk. Does that mean I can't use Surf again? No, I can't. Okay, good. But I won't be able to use it again if there's another steel type. And seeing how much this is doing the Klefki kind of scares me. And it also makes me feel a little bit better, because I think Klefki has better special defense. Oh. My accuracy has dropped. Um, I'm kind of scared, because I can't fight a Curlia, obviously, with the floor. So this could go kind of bad. Um, I know Shadow Claw is super effective and it can crit, but Poison Jab... Ah, I'll just go for Shadow Claw. We did hit. Good. Hopefully that'll crit it. Yeah, that's done. Even without a crit, it killed it in one hit. Which makes me feel better about Mr. Mime now. Because I believe hers doesn't have filter. Ooh, and a Grand Bowl. Oh, we can take that on no problem with the floor. I actually believe we fought a Grand Bowl with these two back in the Reflection Cave at one point. 
But yeah, this gym is very similar to Sabrina's gym, which is cool. And Psychic and Fairy are very similar types. Well, actually, not really. Are they? Uh, not really, but they, they're color-wise. They, they always remind me of each other for some reason. I don't know. I'm not going to bother Toxicking. It's not deadly enough for that. I'll just Venom Shock it. I should be able to take it out in one or two hits here. Ooh, it was close. Almost one hit. But as long as we don't get paralyzed, which we did. I mean, Granville's scary. It could kill me if I don't hit enough. So, don't. <laughs> That's all I can say. Oh, we're faster still? What was it doing? It was going for Roar. Oh, my gosh. That's scary. Yeah, there was no reason I would outspeed Paralyzed. It was definitely going for Roar or something of that nature. I don't think it can get anything other than Roar, but I know it can get Roar. So, yeah, that was kind of scary. Um, I was going to heal up. I actually bought Super Potions, a couple of them, for this. And I'll use an Ornberry because I'm a cheap, cheap, cheap player in this playthrough anyways. And I don't have any Cherry Berries yet, so i got to use, like, a Paralyzed Heal. No, no, I'm not going to. All right. Yeah, I'm going to keep going through with these guys. I'd like them both to be 41 by the time we fight Valerie, and then I'll just go ahead and fight her. But hopefully we can just find my way. I think this is actually the way, and then the top left will take me there. So maybe these two would get to level 41 from this, and then we just skip the other trainer. I really don't care to fight her. And I know I can fight everybody, but like I said, easily accessible. I'm not going to backtrack and find my way to her if I don't absolutely have to. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Slurpuff, no energy ball. Oh, oh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, I'm so glad I remembered this. If I've never used the Slurpuff before, that could have gone very badly. Because it's going to go for Energy Ball here, I'm almost guaranteed. No, a Training Kiss, for some reason. Wait, didn't I fight one of these yesterday, the last episode, with Bermundi? That could have gone so bad. I know they learn Energy Ball at level 36, or 35, or something like that. 37, maybe? I don't remember, but they do have them. Endeavor. Oh my god, that's actually... <gasps> that's so bad! Because if it goes for Endeavor, if I don't kill it, then it'll outspeed. Oh my goodness! Okay. Actually, if it goes for Endeavor, it's dead anyways. So, go for Endeavor. Yeah, it did. So this is really scary because of, like, had Quick Attack or something, but... 5 HP! Oh my gosh! <laughs> that's scary! But luckily, this is our only Pokémon, so it's really not too big of an issue. Wow, those are some scary Pokemon. All right, Baron is 41, so hopefully I can fight the other trainer with LaFleur, and then I'll be ready to take on Valerie. Hopefully everything goes well. I know 42 is the level limit. I'm not going to go train up when everybody's already evened out at 41. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as that. And I'm going to use a Hyper Potion on LaFleur. This is like the first time anybody's ever been that low of hit points, I think. Like, and that wasn't dead. So, that's interesting. Baron I need healed? All right. So LaFleur up front, fight the other trainer, and then I can take on Valerie. I think that might be the last trainer as well. So we will have fought anybody anyways. So, I mean, I don't want to backtrack because it's hard enough to find my way through here. But I want to fight the girl in the middle. There might be a girl on the bottom right as, to, as well. But I, like I said, if I get brought to her, I'll fight her. But, yeah, okay, I'll fight her. Why not? And I'll go up to that portal, the north here. Or the one right in front of me up there. And that might take me to the middle. So I'll fight everybody if I can. But if it doesn't, and I'm, I'm not going to find my way around. I'm just going to leave it. All right, Linnea here has an aromatisse. Yeah, that's no problem. I'll be able to just dust that thing. It looks like a dust bunny, and I'll be able to dust it with the floor. I'll be able to take the dust off the floor when we floor it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the floor. That was awful. But basically, the floor is my dust bunny sweeper. Yeah, I know they have more defense. Ooh. Special defense, I mean. But then Slurpuff. But dang. A trap could get kind of nasty. I forgot the floor is a male. It doesn't look like a male Pokemon. It's always a girly looking Pokemon to me, but... And yeah, Moonblast, I'm not bothered. It is, yeah, it's not going to do anything. I, I resist it, and it could lower my special attack, which would make it so I don't venture off in another hit. But as long as we can hit through here, we should be able to take it out with one more Venom Shock. Eh, that's scary. I don't like this. If it lowers my special attack, it could build up, and not being able to hit could get really nasty. I don't know if these things have Grass-type moves like Slurpuff do, but I'm not going to find out the hard way, so we're just going to keep going. 50-50, I hate it. I think a track is 50-50. Okay, this is actually... Alright, I am going to switch, actually. This Bear Monday should outspeed. I hope I don't regret this. I could. If they, like... Watch it use Magical Leaf or something silly. I'll be so upset. Bear Monday is my favorite. Why did it go for Flail? The AI has not been nice to itself lately, has it? Whatever, it's done. Poison Jab that thing into face. Gone. No chance, right? 
Okay, what other fairy types could I come across in here? The floor's still not level 41, so we are going to fight the other one. That's interesting. I mean, it's got to be like one experience away or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Ornberry. Baramundi. And then I will Super Potion. LaFleur. That'll be enough? Wow, 1 HP. 1 HP is a huge difference. Always do it. Never leave 1 HP. Not worth it. It's just completely not worth it at all. It can save your life. And it has on the channel before, if you're curious. It happened at one point. I'm not going to tell you when, but it has happened. I don't know if it's happened more than once or not. I can't remember. Has it? It might have. My dog's being really bad right now, too. He's like trying to lay with me, but he's like stepping on my laptop and stuff. All right, we're in the middle room. Let's fight her. Lafleur's still up front. What other fairy types would there be? A Dedenne? It's probably Dedenne. I know Valerie doesn't have a Dedenne, so this girl has to. You know, you got to think about stuff like that. Maybe. Callie here has a Dedenne, so... Yeah. Trial and error. Oh, this could be bad, though, with, like, Nuzzle. I mean, they're probably not the bulkiest things in the world, and it's only level 38, so I should be able to kill it in one hit with Venoshock. Yeah, it's only going for Charge Beam. It can't paralyze me with Charge Beam, and what's it going to do? Raise its special attack? Yeah, it's not a bother. It's, it can do nothing to my Vile Bloom here. It's done. Goodbye, Dedenne. What's your other Pokemon? Oh, that would be bad, though, for Barbarical. I never thought about that. Because of Electric. I don't think... I know Valerie doesn't have one, so I'm not concerned about it. But what's the other one? Azumarill. That's right. Forgot all about Azumarill, but what's it going to do? I'm a Vile Bloom, so... Vile Bloom completely destroys Azumarill. Super effective in two different ways. And it, it, I resist it in two different ways. So, I'll just Venoshock. I mean, I could Toxic, because I don't think Venoshock could take it out in one hit. But it really doesn't matter. Toxic's just for, like, the fight. Oh, Rain Dance. It's like Rotu. Rotu Dance, right? Oh, my God, that'd be awesome. That's what I'm going to do if I ever use po that Poliwhirl. Have, like, Rain Dance on it, if, it, if I benefit from it anyways. And then be like, Rotu. Rotu Dance, you know? Like Rain Dance? Well, what's the Tahitian word for dance? Because I could do Rotu Kasusa or whatever. I don't know if it's made up a word. You know you know what I'm saying? Whatever. We fought all the trainers in here, even though I didn't really have to. But it's not as bad as all 12 trainers in Clemens Gym. You guys got to understand why I didn't do that. I haven't actually put that video up yet. So, Anyways, I'm going to use a Lepa Berry here on Venoshock. And I don't think anybody else needs any Lepa Berries. But the entire team is level 41, which I would say is a great thing to fight Valerie with. Even though the level limit's 42, I'm okay. We're going to go ahead and do it like this. Everything should be according to plan. Earthquake in case I need these two. I got Poison Jab on Knock'em in case I desperately need it. Yeah, and these two can just do their own thing. I mean, they don't have anything that would be good against her. In case the worst comes to worst, we just have to be... We have to be ready, so... I hope, hopefully that doesn't happen. We've had a pretty good run of this playthrough so far, but anything can happen. I'm not desperately concerned like I was for Grant. Obviously, Grant was a huge problem at the time. And this playthrough has had a lot of huge problems, definitely. I'm more concerned for... The Mawile than anything else. Kind of the Mr. Mime, now that I thought about Magical Leaf. But I have no, no, I have nothing that's telling me, hey, this thing has Magical Leaf. It's just a memory. It might not even be able to learn Magical Leaf. I think they do, but I'm not entirely sure. I know this one will take me to Valerie. So here we are in the middle room, the Queen's Chamber. And I want to make sure Barbarical is up front. Oh, Bar Baramundi is not up front. That could have been bad. All right. Hopefully this goes according to plan. There's nothing I can do other than just fight her. Barramunda is my favorite team member on the team by a landslide. She finally evolved into Barbarical, and I really hope that that doesn't get cut short. Because it is time for the sixth gym leader already. We are at the sixth gym. It's crazy to me. This is only episode 20. We've been going through this quick, and we've had a really good time. Only four deaths up to the sixth gym, and I hope that we can keep it that way. There's nothing I can do now other than talk to her and get this fight started. Oh, boy. Oh, if, is it is, if it isn't a young trainer. So you've flown all the way through my gym, fluttering down me on a fortunate wind. Then I suppose you have earned yourself the right to a battle as a reward for your efforts. I am Valerie, who leads this fairy-type gym. 
I hope your visit will prove entertaining to you. The elusive fairy types may appear frail as a breeze and delicate as a bloom, but they are strong. Time for the sixth gym leader of the Pokemon Y, No Healing in Battle Weblock Challenge, versus Valerie, the fairy type master of Laver City in the Kalos region. Let's do this! And first up is Mawile. It's a steel fairy type, and I believe it's level 40. I need your help, Baramundi! Let's do this! It's level 38. That's way better than 40. All right. This is LaFleur and Baramundi's first gym battle. No, it's not. They did Grant. What am I talking about? They did do Grant, and they did excellent. And that was my biggest fear at all in this playthrough. If they did Grant, they can do Valerie. So let's do this. All right. Mawile does not have very much special defense. I would not be going for Surf. I would have taught Bulldoze. But I can't. Surf and Strength are unable to be deleted, and I need Shadow Claw and Poison Jab. So I, let's just hope this does enough damage, because if not, we could be in trouble. Baramunda, I need you to use Surf. Hit it as hard as you can. I know your special attack isn't your strong suit, but it did over half, and it went for Iron Defense, just like I had predicted. As long as we can take it out with one more Surf, we will be in amazing shape for that Mr. Mime. Baramunda, Surf! It's enough. That's it for Mawile. Yeah! All right. Mr. Mime time. Yes, it is. Baramundi, you need to stay in command. And it worries me deeply that she went into Mr. Mime. Because if it does no magical leap, Baramundi's time is going to come to an end. And I can't look it up. It's going for light screen. She's doing nothing but derping. Baramundi hit this thing with a shadow claw. That's super effective. And with a crit, it'll wipe it. It wasn't a crit, but it almost wiped it anyways. And you know what? She's going to heal, so let's go for another one. Hyper Potion doesn't bother me, because this time we're going to crit, because Baramundi is powerful. Hit it with a sniper crit! Maybe not, but hey, that's okay. We outspeed, and it's dead in one more hit anyways. Or she's going to use another Hyper Potion. That's completely fine by me. I'm sorry if I hyped up this gym, but I was concerned, and I had good reason to be. But, let's stop talking. Let's stop smack talking till it's over. Now it's going for Reflect. That's okay, because the light screen should wear off, and we're not using physical moves after this one. And that Mr. Mime is gone. Mr. Mime time has come to an end, and Baramundi didn't, which is awesome. And her final Pokemon and her ace is Sylveon. Come on back, Baramundi. You did an amazing job. I need your help with Floor. Let's floor this, Sylveon. All right, Sylveon is a fairy type, and it's level 42. Okay, so I could just Venoshock, but I want to be 100% safe here, and I need to go for Toxic. Why is it using Charm? Valerie's done nothing but derp this entire fight. Using moves that make no sense. Iron Defense when I use a special attack. Light Screen when I use a physical attack. And then Charm on a special attacking Pokemon. As the Light Screen wears off and it's poisoned, this fight is over, Valerie. Hit me with your Taylor Swift. And I blast back with a Venoshock. While you're toxic, this fight's over. Gone! Nice work, LaFleur! Oh yeah, that was way easier than I expected. But hey, I had to be worried. You should be concerned. Better safe than sorry. And that's it for Valerie. Whew! <laughs> I love those gym battles. They're always so intense without being able to heal. This is amazing. Anyways, Valerie says, Yes, this was a fine battle. I shall reward you for this great victory with this amazingly creatively named gym badge. For the first fairy-type gym ever, I'm giving you the dun-dun-dun. The fairy badge. <laughs> yes, it's it's the fairy badge. And there it is. It's the ugly badge, in my opinion. But that's it. Six gym badges, four deaths, without ever healing in battle once. I'd say that's pretty good. All right. The captivating fairy badge will endear any Pokemon up to level 80 to you. And yes, even the Pokemon that you get from others will obey you. And we get this TM. Please consider it a personal gift from me, not simply the winnings of a battle. And, hey, your Vile Plume was amazing, so let's give it an awesome attack. We get TM99, Dazzling Gleam. And yeah, Vile Plume can learn that, which is crazy. A Fairy-type move on a Poison and Grass-type. And I'm pretty excited to get to try it out in the future. So, I don't really care what Valerie just said there. I normally read the dialogue from gym leaders, but she's rambling about nothing. So, let's check out and see if anybody can learn Dazzling Gleam. Just LaFleur. That's really good. A Fairy-type move is going to be very nice to have. And I'm not too sure what I'm going to get rid of for it. I think I'm going to can Protect now. Protect is useful, and it's great with Toxic. But I think Dazzling Gleam for coverage is going to be better coming up in areas. So we're going to have Dazzling Gleam. 
and yeah, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and give the scope lens back to Baramundi, I think. I'm going to leave Citrus Berries, actually. Yeah, that fight went really well. I'm very pleased with that. I think everybody still has Citrus Berries and the Black Sludge. Yep, just want to make sure everybody's got them. I don't want to ever accidentally not give a Citrus Berry to somebody. All right. A whole team even at 41. I don't know what the level limit is now. I think it might be 48, 49. So we've got a ways to go still before the next gym. But, hey, I'm pretty excited. This was a really good fight. I mean, I'm sorry for the shorter episode, but it's the Valerie episode. So it's just, you know, just Valerie. So not too much to it. And I'm sorry it wasn't an incredibly difficult fight or anything. But anyways, here's these guys. They're going to the Pokeball Factory, and they want us to tag along. Nothing bad's going to happen to the Pokeball Factory, right? Right? Well, we'll find that out in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, a like is appreciated. It helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Pokemon Wedlocks like Pokemon Y, feel free to subscribe. And in the next episode, we're going to be taking on the Pokeball Factory with our rifles, the Geek Squad. So... I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.